And you know, the Burns Lake Campground, located in Big Cypress National Preserve, is located by right around in here. So you can see between Miami and uh, Naples, so about right in there between those t that loop road and between this road going towards Immokalee. Okay, we'll look at the RV loop. There's a road behind it where you can uh, just pull through when you're parking your RV, which is nice. So again, you're right next to the lake. Right, I don't know if that's a campsite house there or not. The second one is. That's a camp house there. Okay, so I'll just straight through here. There's a restroom. I think that was four. I don't remember. No, I went four. They're all pretty much alike. By a great nice picnic table. And right next to the lake. here on the end. Alright, and we're, this is, I like this spot, this is 10, where we're at right on the end. Okay, this will be the area past the RV camping. over here. Okay, there's off-road vehicle access here and hiking, biking down that trail, which we're going to do. This day use area. Pretty clean bathrooms. And it's right next to the lake. A picnic area for day use. And the tent camping starts here. It's not too many tent camp spots. Here's site one. Site two. They'll have fire grates. There's actually a bear boxes too at the tent sites, they're not at the trailer sites. Site three, I assume. Then you have a nice open area here to look at. Uh, the lake, a lot of alligators in there. I assume this would be site four. Yep, that's site four. trash cans throughout. Another bear box here. And then uh, site five and six. Right over here, five and then six here is occupied. And that's the end of the tent camping. There's extra car parking over here. Extra vehicle or trailer parking, but no camping right there. Good place to walk the dog, though. I wouldn't walk him next to the lake. Okay, there's an info kiosk there, and then there's, an, there's a back road 
right over here. We're going to go down. We'll see what's down here. I have no idea. Uh, there's no off-road vehicles allowed. This is just for cars, apparently. So we'll go down here. We'll see what's down here. If I see anything interesting, I'll come back. Okay, there are some little swampy areas here as you go down this road. So on the left, I think on the right, there's some too. It's not everywhere. Not a bad road. It's fairly smooth. It will surprise an animal. curve. This could turn around here, I guess. Remember, that's the first place I've seen that you could really turn around. It's too narrow to turn your car around otherwise. Looks like there's something up here. I see a trash can or something. Straight ahead. Oh no, it's a uh, swamp buggy. That's what it is. It's a swamp buggy, I think. Oh, okay. And here's like a little... I don't know what it is. Oh, it's somebody's house. I think. What is this? I wonder what that is. I have no idea what that is. I don't... It almost looks like a restaurant, but... I couldn't be out here. There's trailers there. Yeah, there's trailers there. I don't know what it is. Maybe somebody's home. I guess it is somebody's home. Wow. That's isolated. They got a bunch of RVs. Oh, you could turn around there at least if you had to. Ah, huh, that, wasn't expecting that. But it does look like there's another mailbox up here. So there must be actually some houses back here on this road. I was not expecting that. But this road keeps going, going and going. Yeah, these are mailboxes, so there are other homes here. Yeah, so I didn't know that. So look at that, there's like a gate that goes back. This is Cypress Tower Road. Okay, and it has a gate, so it's shut. It goes back, we'll just go a little bit farther. Huh. Okay, now it looks like we come to dead end. There's another not through street, that's somebody's homes, I guess, down there. Looks like it kind of dead ends here. At least you can turn around. Access point closed. Enter trail access at Burns Lake Campground. All right, well, at least we can turn around here. Again, that looks like to somebody's home. There's a mailbox there. All right, well, this was interesting. I didn't expect this back here. People do live back here. There are homes. Okay, we'll go down this trail for a little bit. See what's down here. ORV trail, hiking. To a dead end unless you got a swamp buggy or want to get very wet this has got to get really wet in the summer in the rainy season okay this only took about seven or eight minutes to get to this part okay, friendly alligators Not fishing 
Well, he's, he's too small to do anything. He thinks he's, I'm going to feed him or something. That's funny. I bet people fed him, and that's why he's up here. Okay, well, we're here at Burns Lake. Try, I've set up the telescope, which you probably can't see because it's too dark. And we're going to do some astronomy. Uh, it is partly cloudy out, so it's supposed to be clear tonight. I think it'll clear. There's the moon. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I mean, it's a, that's about a half a moon. Wanted to come last weekend when it was new moon, but uh, it was cloudy all weekend. So delayed it till this weekend here in early February. So we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know in the morning how things went. Okay, the stargazing was pretty awesome last night. Uh, I had to wait till after 1 a.m. for the moon to go down, and luckily the clouds disappeared at the same time. Uh, but stars were really out great. I wouldn't say it's on the level of Bryce Canyon here, but you know it's it's at a very high level. I mean, you can see thousands of stars. I could see galaxies and that I cannot see at home uh, pretty clearly, and really everything looked better. Uh, than at home doing stargazing. So it definitely was definitely well worth just coming up here to do that. Uh, real beautiful time. And, uh, you know, it was quiet too. Didn't have to worry about people. You know, with no electricity, people don't tend to have lights on or anything like that. So that really helps uh, being here. So stargazing, A plus, I would say. I mean, for the for east of the Mississippi, I mean, I think that's about as good as you're going to get. Okay, so overall conclusions about Burns Lake Campground. Um, really nice place, really quiet. You know, sometimes people are running in a generator, but it hasn't really been an issue. Um, real pretty location. You know, great place to bike. Uh, places to walk and drive around and see near here. Fishing, we didn't really have any luck, um, but there are some fish in there. I saw some decent size uh, bluegill and I, I saw a nice bass. So they're in there in this lake, but there's plenty of other places to fish around here. You know, the downside of this place is I think it's $24 a night, and when you have no electricity or water, that's really overpriced, but they're all like that. Okay, but you know, the best thing is this is a nice quiet retreat. You don't have road noise like you do with all the other uh, campgrounds right along Tamiami Trail here going through Big Cypress and the Everglades. I mean, you hear the road noise, it's really loud. Here you don't hear it at all. You're you're far enough back. You don't get to hear it at all. And this is a nice small campground too. So, you know, if you can get a spot, which we reserved this two weeks in advance for early February, I didn't have a didn't have a problem. There are plenty of spots available. However, when we got here, it was it was full. There was no room for anybody. So there's a lot of people who just stop over. So you can't count on just getting a spot here. Uh, most of the time. You may or may not. So reservations I would recommend uh, to get a spot. Alright, so anyway, this is another panorama. Burns Lake campground. Uh, enjoyed myself. It was a good, just little one night trip. Uh, doing a little fishing, relaxing, and uh, stargazing with the telescope. So, well worth it for that.